Hi you guys, it's Kiana once again. I'm in the kitchen, so you know what time it is. Um, we're trying to whip, it, whip together um, a quick meal. Um, something fun like we did yesterday. Um, also, these items that I've picked for the past couple of days can be as appetizers for any party or event. Um, you can also beef it up by adding um, maybe chicken or uh, maybe some sausage links and um, maybe some ground beef, I don't know. Um, you can beef these items up and turn them into uh, what is meant to be an appetizer. You can turn them into a main course. That's what we're doing today. Um, what we're fixing today is um, the famous fried macaroni cheese bites. Um, and what we're going to do is we're not going to make them so much bite size, but we're going to beef up the recipe by adding these Polish kielbasa bits that I've already taken the liberty of uh, cooking. Um, and what I've done is slice them in quarter pieces. Uh, we use one package. Well, actually, uh, I buy mine from BJ, so it comes like m maybe about six, six packages into one. But when you guys buy it in the market, it's going to be one whole package of the rope polis kielbasa. Um, you can use turkey um, kielbasa or you can use um, the one that has the beef, the pork, and uh, turkey mixture. Um, that's the ones I'm using today. What you're going to need for this recipe is A, you're going to need cooking oil, which we have that stewing in the back right now. Um, you're going to need a bowl of eggs beaten already. You're going to also need a separate bowl because you're going to put your dry mixture of breadcrumbs, salt, pepper to taste. I use my accent and you're going to use your Parmesan cheese and uh, if I didn't tell you garlic pepper uh, powder. You're going to mix that all together inside of your breadcrumb mixture. So you're going to have that. Um, I've already fixed the elbow noodles. Um, they already are cooked and drained. So you're going to need a package of that. You're also going to need a can of milk or regular milk. But I use canned milk because um, I could have it on hand. Also, you guys, I also gave you that quick tip. Whatever a recipe calls for milk. Um, it's great to have powdered milk on hand um, simply because you can store it, you get a whole lot of it, you're never going to run out, um, and also uh, you can mix it with your items. Uh, because I'm looking for a extremely creamy texture, I use the canned milk um, because I'm mixing it with wet items, so I want to have um, something that's already wet. So I use the canned milk rather than the dry. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to melt some butter in a pot or pan um, and you're going to melt some butter and then once the butter, butter is melted you're going to add flour to it until you get a paste like effect. Um, as you're doing that continue to stir and then you're going to drizzle in the canned milk and stir while you're drizzling that in as well. Once you've done that you can add your shredded cheese or your Velveeta. I've taken the liberty of adding Velveeta because we had um, Velveeta cheese last night so I used a quarter loaf of the Velveeta and what you should come out with after you've melted all of these items and meshed them together you should come out with something look like this. And this is the cheese sauce. What we're going to do is we're going to fold some of our noodles into this mixture. Now you're probably not going to need all of these noodles because this will make a big batch and you don't want to stand here and keep having to fry all of these macaroni and cheese bites. And then we're also going to add in our Polish kielbasa. Now ladies, be very careful with the salt because the sausage already has salt. So I've actually um, eliminated the salt. I've added accent um, instead of the salt. But you ladies may want to add a little bit. I don't know, but we are not that big on salt. 
you're going to add half of those close kielbasa and then you're going to start working this in and the cheese you don't want it to be too um you don't want it to be too runny the reason why is because usually you have to set this overnight or for like eight hours um, some people set it in the kit uh, refrigerator so it can get firm and then they can then they can cut it but we're going to do this as a shortcut so the look that you want to go after is this because it's not runny and it's kind of thick and you could make bites if you did leave it overnight or for eight hours and let it sit what you're going to do is when you do that you're going to put it in a uh, I'm sorry I fly in a minute um, you're going to put it into a casserole dish but you're going to line that casserole dish with some um, cling wrap and then you're going to let it sit for up to eight hours in the refrigerator when it comes out it should come out extremely firm to the touch and it doesn't stick to the casserole dish so you could just slice it right in and there and then you can begin the mixture uh, the dry mixture uh, for the deep frying mechanism um, you could start that immediately after you slice the bite-sized pieces but again we're not going to we don't have the time to do the setting and the firming up of the macaroni and cheese now this is one of my favorite quick dishes um, I usually fix macaroni and cheese and when I fix it I'll always add polis kielbasa in it and you can eat it like this but again we're going to try something different okay what we're going to do is we're going to okay, turn that, um, that pan down we're going to take some of this macaroni on a spoon let me take my bracelet off you're going to place a chunk of it in your hand coat it with the mixture of breadcrumbs then you're gonna take some of that egg wash now this is gonna be messy I'm gonna tell you guys but it's so worth it once you fix it and you're gonna make I'm making patties that looks like meatloaf little patties Then you're gonna re, re bread crumb it. And it's almost like making crab cakes. And you should have something that looks like this. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna drop this into your deep fryer and you're gonna not mess with it because it will break apart. So you're just gonna let it just continue to be um, cooking on its own and then I'll show you guys with the next video what it looks like once it comes out and that's about it so I'll see you guys later again we're having fried macaroni and cheese and it tastes yummy <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later bye